Hi Stampers, this is Diane Cisneros and today we're going to do, Diane will teach me that. Uh, I took some of our boxes and uh, decorated them with the June Paper Pumpkin uh, pinwheels. I took a bag from the catalog and decorated that and here's a square box and I put little, I cut the straws and made little firecrackers for the side and then I went and made about three pinwheels and you'll, you'll see all those in the pictures that I put on my blog. So let me get started and show you just a few of these things. I'm not going to go through all of those. Uh, I want to show you where you can get some of our nice boxes. I did not decorate that one but that one is available. So you can see the size. Um, on page 200 and 201, this is the craft box I used. It's $2.95 for four. That's the one I just showed you. This is an extra large. Um, these are the polka dot bags. This is the one I used. And for $3.95, you get 10 bags. This is the one that I am uh, really impressed with because um, I'll show you in a minute the nice plastic thing that goes over it. Um, it's $6.95 for eight boxes, and I think that's a deal. So um, I'm going to show you first how to make the pinwheel. You probably have seen this on the video that Stampin' Up! posted. But I'm going to do it again so you can um, watch me um, do it. Okay, so when you get your paper, poke these little holes out. There's a, a hole on each one side of each tab. And then on, on the one that has the hole, you're going to just curl. Just so it's easier to grab. Just the ones with the holes in it. So there's four. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Then you're going to take this nice silver uh, brad, I guess you call it, and you're going to stick it in one hole. Then you're going to go to the opposite side and put that one in. Then go to the side, it doesn't matter which one, and drop that one down in the hole. And then the last one is over here. And you'll have to pull a little bit to get it in there. And now we have all four. And then we have to get it through this hole in the bottom. So you need to push. And you won't, you can't hurt it. Just don't make a fold. Try not to fold the uh, these little things here. So there we have it. It's that easy. And what I did is I heated up my heat gun. I put a bunch of hot glue right here. And I held that there so that it would stay. Now, in the meantime, I also wanted to decorate my straw because they gave us a stamp set with three things on it. I'm going to use Celebrate. And this was twice what it looks like right now. I've already used quite a few of them. These are little tags. I'm going to put Celebrate. I'm going to take it out. I'm sorry, my hands are shaking again. I hit the coffee. Actually, I did it for breakfast and lunch. I shouldn't even be having it. But I get so much done when I drink coffee. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put a glue dot, which they gave us a ton of. I'm going to fold this. And my fingers are a mess because... I just finished making everything you see in that picture. So with the glue gun and the ink and everything, I'm going to put a glue dot between these two, hold them together, and I'm going to slip that in there, bring it down to where my glue dot is, and just push. And then you get your hot glue gun and do it so that it lays flat and your little your little decoration will show. So that's how I did the pinwheels. Uh, I, I want to show you these boxes. Um, 
box is a box, no big deal. But what I what I did was I found uh, in the maritime package there is some red, white, and blue paper. So what I did was I cut, I left it like this, and I cut uh, like a two and a half by seven inch piece, and I glued it just like that. And then as I was gluing it, before I got to the end, I made sure I folded it a little bit, turned it over, and did another piece. So that's how I got my my stripe all the way around. Two different pieces. These fold down. Just go ahead and really fold them nice and firm. Um, pull them out. Get them out. Up and okay, now these two go down. And then this one just falls right into that little. And there's the bottom. Perfect. Okay, now these two, and then the tab. And this is a nice sturdy box. There's nothing flimsy about it. But this is what you can do. You can make a flower, you can do anything. Just decorate it real quick. And you have a cute box. Now this one, this is the one I've never made, I've, I've never used this before, but look how it comes. OMG, I, I'm really, I looked at this and I thought, oh my goodness, this is hard plastic. Okay, I'm gonna, what I did with this one, I took one of the pinwheels and I just cut it in half, or one, one fourth, and used them on the sides, just to decorate a little bit. I didn't want to do the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna fold these. score lines and then we're going to do the side one down, side one down, and then we're going to, now see what I'm folding here is the bottom, you can push it right down in there, okay, so I pushed it in, just so happens I pushed it in exactly the way it needs to go, so that's already done. So simple. Now this, this nice piece of hard plastic, you can put, I just went ahead and folded. Folded these score lines. There's one, there's one, and here's another one. Okay, now watch this. This is, I mean, you can put candy in here, cookies, you can put a gift, you can put, oh my goodness, it's secure, it's, it looks so quality, I mean, I mean I'm just, I'm easily amused, I guess you could say. Here's my decorated box, and here's the one that is just plain. Okay, so uh, on the bag, I didn't bring one over, a plain one, but what I did was I just put some items in. I took a piece of uh, my Knight of Navy cardstock and made it long enough so that I could use some tape on the back. Then I had a piece of scrap red and white polka dot in my scrap pile that's much thinner, I wrapped it around, and just used my adhesive. I went ahead and made a pinwheel, used my hot glue to hold it down, made three tabs, and then used the cute little um, clip that comes with it. So that is my video for today. I just want you to see what you can do with some of these paper pumpkin packages. Uh, I, I know I've told you before, but my paper pumpkin has improved and is so much more valuable uh, than when we first started. Um, I can just imagine, you know, like we in June we have stuff for July. Now in July we're going to have stuff for August. Um, I don't know, but I, I mean, I would guess maybe back to school. We're going to have September would be fall. And then October is going to be Halloween. No, November is going to be Thanksgiving, December's um, Christmas. We're all going to get those a month prior to when we need them. But um, 
that's, I mean, it's, it's just going to be loaded with things that, for you to make for these upcoming holidays. So I hope you'll give uh, Paper Pumpkin a try. It's on my blog. You can just click and try it. Thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you soon.